Hey, 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 friends, Juan here. Welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will be playing Taxi Chaos on the Nintendo Switch, but this game is also available on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Huge shout out to uh, Lion Castle Entertainment for sending me a review key so that way I could play the game, check it out over the weekend, and share my impressions with all of you. And just based on the menu and the core concept, you know what this is all about. It's taking us back to the past of the days of Crazy Taxi. And uh, as you can see, as you play the game, you get to unlock different vehicles. Uh, these initial ones have a little bit more weight to them, so if you didn't like the floatiness of especially the first Crazy Taxi game, this may be it for you. Uh, but for the video, I'll be using Va Veloce, which I probably just butcher that horribly, but uh, this is the one that's most like the uh, Crazy Taxi game. You saw that there's also a pro mode, which basically you have to deliver the uh, passengers without actually having an arrow guiding you there. And then there's also free roaming, so that way you can just become acclimated with the game. So if you like what I do, make sure to subscribe, click on that bell, go down to the comment section and let me know. Did you know about this game? And if not, are you thinking of getting it based on this video? Uh, let me know. And uh, at the end, I'm also gonna be sharing some developer updates because they've actually been pretty open with all of us. So let's go over here. As you can see right off the bat, it's pretty much like the games that we played growing up. And uh, you saw that there was like a little charge at the beginning, right? That's because when you hold L and R, the car kind of like charges up. So that way you get a nice boost, which was not beneficial there. Usually it's good for this, right? It's like uh, you get somebody, this is like an Uber driver or something like that. And then you just blast off. Something that I really like about this game, or I guess two things, is number one, the corners, like the turns are very sharp, which for a game like this, it's very important because it's an arcade stock game, right? This is not a simulation experience. So you want something that when you turn left, you can just get that sharp turn and feel like a badass. But then say uh, there's a vehicle, well, I was gonna go right initially and then kind of messed up, but there's a vehicle in the middle, right? Uh, you can you can jump over it. Hey, we're, we're back now, we're back. And this is nice because you can definitely cut down the path. You gotta be careful not to uh, overdo that and then hurt yourself in the process. Let's see here, who's gonna be the next one? Based on, uh, much like the original games, based on the color that you see in that indicator, that determines kind of like the distance of where the uh, delivery is. And you can see this is basically uh, New York City, which, uh, I mean, talk about a place that has a whole lot of taxis, right? One of the things that the developers have pointed out is that they are going to be working on a patch which adds more people to the streets. It changes uh, some of the performance problems on the Nintendo Switch and Xbox One in particular. They will also be adding 11 new tracks, uh, so songs that you can listen to while you play the game, in addition to many other things. But I really like that because they took a whole lot of feedback from the people like myself that were playing the game, and they just straight up asked us, like, hey, how can we make this game feel more authentic to all of you? And that's commendable for a developer, the fact that even before release, they were already implementing some of these changes is pretty awesome. Now, they did mention that the uh, Switch update is going to take a little while longer because of uh, Nintendo's process, but if you're a gamer on PS4 or Xbox One, that should arrive for you pretty quickly. And even though I'm playing this on, on my uh, monitor right now, we'll do another session. Even though I'm playing this on my monitor, I actually played this in handheld mode and it looks beautiful. It runs just fine. And I'm not going to do the pro mode because, yeah, I I already, I, I still need a GPS in my day-to-day -day life. Can you imagine just like struggling to find places <laughs> in a game? I guess for comparison's sake, let's actually go with the first vehicle, the default one. You unlock these as you continue uh, just uh, going forward. They have also gonna, they're also going to add some new animations and little things like that, a developer leaderboard. So not only can you compete with other gamers, you can actually compete with developer scores and see if you can do better than them. And I think that, that a game like this 
it's definitely best on Switch because playing a quick session of this on the go is pretty damn cool, whether it be in your home or something. Like, I was mostly playing this in bed, and I don't really play a lot of games uh, in my bedroom, like in the Switch and all that. The Switch, I rarely use it in handheld mode, so the fact that I used this in handheld mode for a little while is definitely something to consider. Oh boy. Oh no, no! Damn it, you lose the momentum if you crash. You lose the momentum if you crash like that. Man, I was doing so good. I managed to get a high score. I actually cracked the top five uh, because I was playing pre-release. Uh, they kept resetting it, but actually reached number four, which is very hard to believe right now, probably. Let's make another turn here. So while we keep playing this, which other classic? I'm not going to say retro because some people may not call Crazy Taxi a retro game, even though... People, it's it's been like what twenty years or something. I I think we can call it a retro game, can we? But which other games like this? Uh, oh, you know, um, eighteen wheeler America's uh, Pro Trucker. I think it was called like that. I actually have a copy on the GameCube, but I love playing that in the arcade. And I know there's like Truck Simulator and all that, but I think it'd be pretty cool to have something like that, like a modern take and arcade take on that. Something I don't find myself doing a lot is actually braking. Just holding down brake, which is good. I mean, it, with a game like this, I don't think braking is good. You want that momentum. And as you can see, you can you can really just spam the hell out of the jump. Now, it says there's a combo meter, but I'm not sure if that actually factors in the overall score. I don't think it does. So maybe in a future update or, or something, they'll make it a little bo bit more uh, obvious. Okay, let's go over here. If we don't get over 25, we got to do one more run here because I refuse to have these two runs define my experience with the game. Something I've noticed is these short distance ones really don't give you enough score to justify them. I've had the most luck with the uh, very lengthy uh, distances. And you may notice every now and then there's a stutter on the Switch version. Personally, it doesn't affect the experience. And because they've already pointed out they're working on updates, that's something I'm willing to uh, forgive, right? Because they have been open about that. Oh, what the hell? You just got a free ride. You just got a free ride. Yeah, we are, we are doing another run, people. This is pathetic. Do not rate these first two runs. You will define me by my third run. In which it's like, it's like way worse or something. Well, I mean, I did just, I did slightly worse than my other one. Let's go back to the first vehicle. It's the one that I really like. Let's check out Vinny. The one thing I, I will uh, point, and it's not necessarily bad, is that one thing that I loved about Crazy Taxi is I think that the buildings were a lot more unique. I mean, back then it was like, what, like KFC, Pizza Hut and all that. But I think the buildings in which you took the uh, passengers were a lot more identifiable. So maybe that's something I would have done here. But overall, I think it satisfies it more than satisfies the craving for Crazy Taxi, in my opinion. And I swear I have done better. Okay, come on now. Let's go right. Okay, we gotta get aggressive in this run. We gotta get aggressive. Okay. This is what I love about the jumping is when it works like that, it feels so damn rewarding because you really do feel like an ultimate badass. I'm gonna go with one of the orange difficulty ones. And we are gonna go this way and jump. Hold up. Okay. They did mention they were going to patch out some stuff. I will assume that's going to be part of it. Let's keep going this way. Make a right. Oof. Forget if I said it earlier, but yeah, they are going to add more pedestrians. Little things like that. Come on, go, 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 go. I'm aiming for at least 25. If I do 25, my highest score, I think, was like 34. 
clearly that's not happening today. I mean, not with that, not with that like uh, feeling, right? With that level of enthusiasm. Man, this is a pretty far one. Holy crap! Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay, got it. Got it. Where are you at? Where are you at? Okay, that's good. I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, I forgot to do the boost. Crap. I've tried to do the boost like while I'm already uh, driving, but that doesn't really work. You have to pause, which makes sense. But I do wish there was like a somewhat like a like a momentum thing, you know, like burnout. That'd be pretty awesome. And I think that's where a game like this really succeeds is that because it's arcade style, they can take this anywhere, right? They can eventually continue to add uh, updates and, and maps and different abilities and skills and continue changing the experience, right? The same way they have free roaming pro in this, they can add more game modes to it or something. Okay, we were already done a lot better than before, so let's see here. Can we do even better? Can we take this ramp and have it look pretty awesome? Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that's my first time getting up here. There's a couple of hidden I'm Whoa. There's a couple of hidden items. Uh, that I believe unlock another uh, vehicle. But I'm terrible at that. No! No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Thanks for the lift. Oh, okay, 25. Wow. Okay, we got we got eight seconds. We're gonna do this, people. We are gonna do this. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. No! We almost ended on a cliffhanger. Get it? Because it's like, oh, look at that. I actually made it in the uh, reset board there. Number five. I may cry. But yeah, uh, that's going to be doing it for this quick first impressions of uh, Taxi Chaos. I will commit on this channel that as soon as they release that patch... They said that's going to take about a week or two of, uh, as of the launch of the game, which is uh, February 23rd, 2021. I will be going back to this channel and doing an updated gameplay session, so that way all of you can check it out. But so far, I would recommend somebody get a game like this because it's arcade style. It's easy to quick up and play uh, to a what the hell that easy to pick up and quick up and play. I mean, is that a thing? <laughs> If you have a friend that played Crazy Taxi as a kid and they loved it and they want to play it on the Switch or the PS4 or the Xbox One with updated graphics and there is going to be a rock style soundtrack, then check this game out and also keep an eye out for the couple of patches. So rate my gaming session. Let me know what you thought about the game. And if you like what I do, make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell. Also follow me at twitch.tv slash Mr. Player One. Thank you for watching and take care, everybody.